All right, everyone, we're in bonus segment number 22 of Airfly 111's birthday special, and it's time once again to put my knowledge to the test as we play Jeopardy for the PlayStation. Let's see how we do here. Here we go. Let's see if we can win Erica a bundle this game, shall we? And we'll see if we also hear those words of that is incorrect. Hi, folks. Okay, one person, two computer contestants then. Okay. I'm ready. Player one, what's your name? We'll just use my name, like we always do. With this segment, anyway. Yep, okay, here we go. Oh, bunch of sickle. That's perfect. That's good enough for me. Here we go. Jeopardy for the PlayStation will now commence. Let's win Erica a bundle in cash this game. See if the categories are to my liking. From the Sony Pictures Studio, this is Jeopardy. Hello, it's time for Jeopardy. Good luck to all our players. I'm ready. As mentioned, there's one daily double up there somewhere in one of these categories. I bet you can't wait to see the categories. Well, here they are. I'm ready. Literary women. Body parts. TV trivia, celebrities, the Roman Empire, around the world. Player one, let's begin. Around the world 100. The name of these South American mountains may be derived from Andy, a Quechuan word for east. What are the Andes mountains? Player one. That's correct. Alright, right, 200. Women of India often drape the end of this wrapped garment over their head. What is a sorry? Play one. You are correct. Uh, let's have a round the world for 300. Alright, pick again. Almost all Bedouins in the Middle East speak this language. What is Arabic? Player one. So I know a uh, better one is in Saudi Arabia, so I'm going to say what's Arabic. Exactly. Yes. You're in first place all by yourself. They should be. Around the world for 400. All right, pick again. This grain is Lao's chief agricultural product. What is rice? Player one. Correct. Round the world 500, please. All right, pick again. Queen's University, one of the two universities in Northern Ireland, is in this capital city. What is Belfast? Player one. You are correct. Ran the category. All right, pick Body again. Body parts 100. This disc-shaped organ in a pregnant woman provides the baby with food and oxygen. What is the placenta? Player one. That's right. Body parts 200. All right, pick again. When blood goes through these organs, it turns red. What are the lungs? Player one. Right you are. Body parts 300. All right, pick again. 
The lacrimal glands secrete the... Or tears. Layer one. Why, yes. Body part 400. All right, pick again. The lower end of this four and a half inch tube divides into two bronchi. What's the trachea? Layer one. Correct. Body parts 500. All right, pick again. Okay. The chief storage areas for iron in the bone marrow, the spleen, and this organ. What's the liver? Layer one. Exactly. Liver is 100. All right, pick again. On March 20, 1969, he married Yoko Ono in the registrar's office in Gibraltar. Who is John Lennon? Layer one. Not John Landy. John Lennon. That's it. Celebrity 200. All right, pick again. This Murder, She Wrote star provided the voice of Mrs. Potts, the teapot, in Beauty and the Beast. Who's Angela Lansbury? Layer one. Yes, indeed. Celebrity 300. All right, pick again. While considered an Australian, this lethal weapon star was actually born in Peekskill, New York. Who's Mel Gibson? Layer one. Yes, indeed. Uh, celebrity for 400. Right, pick again. She left husband Ludlow Smith after two weeks. Her love affair with Spencer Tracy lasted 27 years. Uh, who is Catherine Hepburn? To be sure. Celebrity 500. All right, pick again. Country music star Christina Simonella Judd goes by this first name. What is Winona? Layer one. Yes. Glittery Women 100. All right, pick again. Answer. All right! <laughs> it's the first clue, so I'm going to make it a true daily double. Her mysteries include murder in Mesopotamia, murder at Hazelmoor, and murder on the Orient Express. Who's like the Christie? Layer one. Oh, am I glad I did it. No, not a gate. Agatha Christie. That's right. Yes. All right, pick Where are women 200? This author of Hollywood Wives was formerly an actress like her sister Joan. Who is Jackie Collins? Yes. All right. I'll deliver a woman for 300, please. In 1995, this best-selling author published her 35th novel, Lightning. Oh. Layer one. Who is... I will, I'll, I'll go ahead and try it. Who is... Oh, please let it be right. Danielle Steele? Why, yes. Yeah, buddy! All right, pick again. Literal women for 400. Glad I buzzed in. Luna Carson Smith was the original name of this The Heart is a Lonely Hunter author. Who is, uh, Carson, Carson McCullers? That's correct. Right again! All right, Let her run 500, please. She won a Pulitzer for a... And this is where I'm going to stop on buzzing in because I don't know. Three. Jane Smiley? Yes, indeed. All right. It's your turn, Player 3. All right, Player 3, where are we going? TV Trivia 100. All right. Seals and Croft sang this law school series theme, The First Years. Player 2? The Paper Chase? Yeah. To be sure. All right. Player 2, it's your turn. I think I didn't buzz in because I wasn't 100% sure. All right. 1980 series on which Captain Frank Farillo married public defender Joyce Davenport. Uh, what is Hill Street Blues? Anyone? 
You are correct. TV trivia 300. What'll it be, player one? Or ten thousand dollars right now. After shooting the first four episodes of this 1994-95 season, he left NYPD Blue to pursue a film career. Uh, who is uh, David Caruso? That's it, exactly. Booyaka! All right, pick again. TV trivia 400, please. Barbara Eden starred in the film and TV versions of this Jeannie C. Riley hit song. Where one? What is I Dream of Jeannie? Good guess, but that's uh, incorrect, unfortunately. Uh, oh, well. Here is the correct Oh, response. Harper Valley PTA. All right. That's okay. All right, pick again. Only the first and correct response, all game. He was the second person to play Chester A. Riley on TV. Jackie Gleason was the first. Player three. William Bendix? That's it, exactly. All right. Player three. So that's the first incorrect response given all game, just a few seconds ago, but that's okay. She met Mark Antony in Cilicia in 41 BC, and they became lovers. Who's Cleopatra? Player one. You are correct. Uh, 200. Okay, contestant one. Still over $10,000 right now. It's okay. This volcano near Pompeii served as a refuge for slaves during the revolt of Spartacus. What is Mount Vesuvius? Player one. You are correct. 300, please. All right, pick again. Roman girls wore this famous garment until they married and adopted the stola or matron's dress. What is a toga? Go back. Yes, indeed. All right, all right, all right. 400. All right, pick again. We're on a roll now. Under Augustus, this governmental body retained the privilege of minting all copper coins. What is the Senate? Player one. You are correct. Last clip. And to finish the board. In 26 AD, he succeeded Valerius Gratus as procurator of Judea. Player two. Oh, Pontius Pilate. That's right. That's it. That's okay. All right, that's the end of the Jeopardy round. So I have $11,000. Player three has 1000 Player two has 600 And like I said, only one incorrect response was given in that last round, but that's okay. So right now at this point, Whammy Incorporated is only profiting $400. That's okay. Damage is minimal right now, in a way. Let's move on to Double Jeopardy. Double the dollar values. We'll put two daily doubles up on the board, one of them being a video daily double. And we'll load in six brand new categories. Categories and clues, a good majority of them in the Jeopardy round were to my liking. Will Double Jeopardy say the exact same thing? Let's find out. Let's see if you like these categories in the Double Jeopardy round. Royalty. Inventors. Musicals opening numbers. People and places. British authors. The Mississippi. Let's begin. This time player two will start us off. Where are we going, player two? We are going to British authors for 200. All right. This James Bond creator was a Moscow correspondent for Reuters in the early 1930s. Who's Ian Fleming? Player one. Why, yes. British authors for 400. It's your turn, player one. He wrote the Jungle Book partly for his daughter Josephine while living in the U.S. Who is Roger Kipling? Player one. Right. Uh, let's have a uh, right, to 600, please. The initials PG in his name stood for Pelham Grenville. Uh, who is PG Wodehouse? Player one. That's right. We're going to go with uh, British Authors for 800, please. All right, pick again. The answer is a Okay, I could have a little bit of a clue. Let's just do 2200. 
In 1688-89, this Moe Flanders author participated in the Glorious Revolution. Okay. Take a look at your monitor. Moe Flanders author. Have to think about this carefully. Uh... Oh my. Uh... Player one? Moe Flanders author, I don't know. I'll just say... Let's just say it was Adam Smith, but I don't know. No. No, so it cost me twenty-two hundred dollars. Here is the correct response. Daniel the phone. Daniel the phone. Pick again. All right, that's okay. In 1958, he published a follow-up to Brave New World titled "Brave New World Revisited." Who is Aldous Huxley? Yeah. You are correct. More like it. All right, pick again. Uh, the inventors, or is it inventions? It's inventors. 200. Lawrence Hammond invented an electric type of this musical instrument. What is a Nova Chord synthesizer? Yes, indeed. Uh, inventors for 400. All right, pick again. He invented a razor with disposable blades after experts at MIT told him it was impossible. Ah, uh, who is King Four. Gillette? No? Shit? Who is, who is shit? No? Who is Gillette? That's correct. Okay, not King Gillette, just Gillette. All right, pick again. Uh, 600. Inventors. Thomas Hancock patented vulcanized rubber in England the year before this man in the U.S. Who is Charles Goodyear? Not Charles Gordon, Charles Goodyear. Yes. Inventors for 800. All right, pick again. Before designing the first successful steamboat, he worked as a portrait painter. Player two? Robert Fulton, that's right. That's right. All right. That takes you into second place. Player two, your turn. Royalty for 200. Amenhotep III, who ruled this country for 37 years, was nicknamed the Magnificent. What is Egypt? Player one? That's correct. Royalty for 400. Player one. Some say this emperor fiddled around by reciting poetry while Rome burned. Who's Nero? Player one. Right you are. Royalty 600. All right, pick again. A fanatical monk named Jacques Clément stabbed this country's King Henry III at St. Cloud in 1589. Player one? King Henry III, um... Jacques Clement murdered this country's King Henry III, um... Let's just say what is Portugal. That's wrong. No. Anybody? Player two? France. Oh, I wanted to go with that. That's right. That was too obvious, though. All right, contestant two. People in places 200. All right. The people of this country's fourth largest city are called Madrasis. What, are, what is India? I wanted to say France, but I thought it was too obvious. Yeah, correct. Player one? Player uh, two. let me have a royalty for 800, please. Answer. Here we go. 2400, please. Prince Henry, the navigator, is entombed in a small chapel in the town of Batalha in this country. Is now the Player time one? for Portugal? Yes. Yep. Right, Roll the thousand. Princess Grace's youngest child. She was born in Monaco's Palais Princier on February 1, 1965. Player one? I'll say who is uh, Princess Stephanie. Sorry. My apologies about that, folks. No, go back. No. Princess Stephanie? 
Right you are. All right. Uh, minutes for a thousand, please. If, as some say, General Hun Sin invented this circa 200 BC, he was the first to tell someone to go fly one. Oh, what's a kite? Wait, one? Nope. Nope. Kite. Why, yes. People who this for 400? All right, pick again. Bernays sauce is from France. While Bernese people are from this country. What is Switzerland? Player one. That's it. People right, plus six hundred. Many people of this largest island are of combined Eskimo and Danish ancestry. What is Greenland? Player one. Correct. Uh, let's have people plus this for 800. All right, pick again. Natives of this Canadian city are called Haligonians. What is Halifax? Player one. That's it. A uh, thousand. All right, pick again. The Mende and the Temne are two major ethnic groups in this African country whose name means Lion Mountain. What is Sierra Leone? Player one. Uh-uh. Sierra Leone. Yes, indeed. You've got a commanding... Uh, let's have the Mississippi for 200, please. All right, pick again. This Mississippi River City, Mark Twain's boyhood home, was extensively damaged in the 1993 flood. What is Hannibal, Missouri? Player one. That's right. Mississippi 400. All right, pick again. Riverboat casino gambling has increased tourism in this Hawkeye State city of Bettendorf. What is Iowa? Player one. Right you are. Mississippi for 600? All right, pick again. Over $20,000 right now. This word for a Mississippi River embankment comes from the French meaning to rise. Player one. What is a levee? Yes. Mississippi for 800. All right, pick again. Ferdy Grofe wrote his Mississippi Suite six years before this famous suite. What's the Grand Canyon Suite? No, no, go back, go back. No. The Grand Canyon Suite. Yes. Mm-hmm. All right, the Mississippi in. 1000. This future Republican president managed flood relief on the Mississippi in 1927. Player one. Uh, who is Herbert Hoover? Got me. Exactly. He's the one. All right, pick again. Visible opening numbers for 200. Bill Cummins. Will come in. What is cabaret? You are correct. All right. Four hundred. We are what we are. Player three. Nakaz all four. Yes. Player three. You choose. All right. Is the local day number six hundred? Tradition. Player one. What is fiddler on the roof? Correct. Okay, contestant. Let's go one. 800, please. If a girl isn't pretty. Player three. Funny girl? I think that's right. That's right. Our last clip. And to finish the board. I hope I get it. Player three. A chorus line, yeah, that's right. Why, yes. Okay. 
That's the end of Double There Jeopardy. we have it. Let's take a look at the scores. Left 23,400, player 3, 3,200, player 2, 2,000. So it's a runaway game. I cannot be caught. This is a no-brainer, unless somebody does something foolish. Which I don't plan to do. Now here's our final Jeopardy category. Languages. All right. Player two, your wager, please. Player three, we have your wager, please. Player one, please make your wager. 1,600. I think I know the answer. the final Jeopardy answer. It's the official language of Yemen. What is Arabic? Should have gone all in, but it's all good. Let's see how everyone. I'm gonna get Eric twenty-five thousand dollars anyway. Thanks, Johnny. It's not bad. Player two, your question. That's right. It is Arabic. No wager was. Double your two thousand to four thousand dollars. Your question, player three. No, I'm sorry. What's that going to cost you? French? No, nope. cost you everything. Wait, me ink at 6400. Oh, I guess it's just not your day. No, it isn't. It's too bad. <laughs> player one, let's take a look at your question. That's right. And your wager was? 1600. So, as I mentioned, Erica gets 25 grand. You're in the lead. And we'll wrap it up for this segment, and I'm going to see you all for the next one, right after this. Congratulations, Player One. You're the Jeopardy! Champion. Hope you had fun. We did. We'll see you soon.